Hey everyone, Samantha Farley here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the mental health aspects of living with type 1 diabetes. Today is going to be a little bit different than a normal video from me. I know a lot of you probably think like, wow, she's so happy. She's so outgoing all the time. She has a lot of energy, which I usually do, but I wanted to do this video today because that's not how I am all the time, right? I'm not like this 24 seven. I don't always have a lot of energy. I don't always have a lot of excitement in my life that's happening. And I really wanted to just talk about mental health illnesses when you have a disease like type one diabetes. And this really hit me today. And I was really kind of feeling down in the dumps today because we have to live our normal lives with type one diabetes, right? Like we still have to go to work. We still have to have a job. We still have to do our typical family things. You know, we have to live a normal life, even though we may not feel normal. And a lot of times that can mess with our mental health. It is a Wednesday here in Denver today. It's really gloomy here today. I've been having a lot of craziness happening in my business. And on top of all of that, I have to deal with my diabetes. Today, I had to change my Dexcom. It was, you know, 10 days were up and I had to change it. I actually put it on my arm right here. And immediately once I attached it to my skin, it started gushing blood. Wow, that's such a minor fact of diabetes. I just got really, really stressed and overwhelmed because I didn't have time to deal with another thing on my plate this week and this day. I know a lot of people who deal with mental illnesses kind of feel that way. Like, why is all this happening to me at once? Like, why does it all happen at one time. I mean, there's that saying, you know, when it rains, it pours. And some days are like that for me. And it always feels like this day cannot get any worse, which I hate saying that because it obviously could get worse in many, many ways. But a lot of times in mental illness, when we're dealing with so many different things, the normal life of living with a family and going to work and just so normal life stuff and then adding type 1 diabetes to it can just be very, very overwhelming. This is not to say that people who live normal lives don't have other issues because we all have our own issues. We all have our own problems. We all have our own health problems, but type 1 diabetes is mine. Sometimes it sucks. And so I wanted to really just jump on here and let you know that Type 1 diabetes is not all bells and whistles all the time. My levels are not always perfect, <laughs> even though, you know, you maybe saw in my day in the life video, like that was a wonderful day for me. My levels didn't really go up or down. It was a great day to do a day in the life video, but that's not how it is all the time. I have days where I'm upset and frustrated and overwhelmed. And all I want to do is go lay in bed and unfortunately, today is one of those days. And so I wanted to record this today so you could kind of get the sense of what it actually is like. Some days it's just a pain in the butt. And some days, you know, I do want to just go lay down. I think it's really important to notice what your mind is going through in these scenarios. You know, notice how you feel and maybe why you feel that way. I try to write these feelings down and try to think, okay, why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? Is it truly as bad as it seems? Really walking through those aspects of health and really breaking it down. So maybe it isn't as bad as I think it is, right? But it's really important to realize that it's okay to be upset some days, it's okay to feel overwhelmed. There's no reason of faking it, right? Like type 1 diabetes, it's a 24 seven disease and the chances of us feeling overwhelmed here and there is high. I think you just need to recognize it and which is what I'm trying to do today. What I've noticed, which is weird, I've noticed on some social media lately that I'm not the only one feeling this way lately, like very just overwhelmed and confused and stressed. 
one of the girls I follow on Instagram, you know, yesterday said that she was feeling very alone and overwhelmed with her diagnosis. She had a ton of wonderful responses to her and she posted them and it was great to hear the type one diabetes community supporting her and saying, you know what, it's okay. It's okay that you're down in the dumps. It's okay that you feel this way, but just remember you're not alone. And so those are the things that I have to try to remember in days like today when I have my whole normal life to worry about when things aren't going well, in addition to type one diabetes. It's just an added stress for my day that I do not need. It sucks. But the mental health aspect of type one diabetes is real. And it's okay if you have it. It's okay if you're sad some of the time because you have a lot to deal with. When your life has a lot of things going on and maybe not everything's working out perfectly. It is extremely stressful and it's okay to take a break. While I know you cannot take a break from type one diabetes, it's okay to maybe take a break from something else in your life. And that is kind of what I've been doing today. While yes, I should be working very hard today. I'm actually trying to relax a bit and take it easy. It's gloomy outside. I have little motivation today. I am a little upset, don't really know why I'm upset, but I am, and that's okay. And it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to relax today and get my mindset and my health back in the place that it needs to be. Because if my health is in a good place, my mind will hopefully be in a better place as well. This may not be the type of video you're expecting today, but I hope some of you feel a little bit more connected that I'm sharing this and that I'm not perfect at all by any means. And life is very stressful in itself. Adding type one diabetes on top of that is also very stressful. And it's okay that you may not be in the best mood today. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully I'll be in a better mood in the next one. <laughs> all right, guys. See ya.